We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Hello brethren, I'm Brother Hosanna David and I'm happy to come your way today. Uh, there is something I really want to address, something that is actually bothering my mind and I've been thinking, when am I going to address this issue? A lot of people have been reaching me through emails and some we talk to phone and they complain that where they live they don't have genuine churches. So how do Christians live and manage their spiritual lives? where there are no churches at all or there are no genuine churches. Uh, you will agree with me, uh, if you are a Christian in this era, you will agree with me that majority of the churches we have today are different from the biblical church. Uh, when you see some of these churches, it is either they are too cold or they are the synagogue of Satan. We have a lot of ceremonial churches, it's all about party, it's all about uh, going uh, to resort center, and it's like a social club. Then you have this uh, spiritual church in quotes. These spiritual churches, uh, they have stepped beyond the normal Christian practice. Uh, some have invited Lucifer into their churches in the name of miracle, in the name of solving people's problems and attending to uh, the needs of humanity. Um, and because of this, idolatry, idol worship, satanism has become prevalent in many churches today. There is a message that the Lord gave me last year which I posted on Ego Eye Opener and the transcription is on my website egoeyeopener.com about false prophets, serious warning to false pastors and prophets. This message reveals a lot of things about the church of today. I'm not addressing any particular denomination. I'm talking about the body of Christ worldwide. Now, um, in case you are one of those living on a place where there is no true church of Jesus Christ or there is no church at all, there are ways you can actually survive, I mean in your Christian life. Uh, I must let us understand something. The church, the word church is from the Greek word called ecclesia. Ecclesia uh, means the called out, those who have been called out of the world to fellowship with Christ Jesus Christ. Those who have been called out of the world to come and have fellowship with Jesus Christ are baptized into the body of Christ. And the body of Christ, the church is not a denomination or thing. The church is the body of Christ worldwide. The church is, is the universal believers. Those who believe in Jesus Christ all over the world. That is the church. The church is not about being an Anglican or being a Methodist or being a, a Pentecostal, being a redeemed, being a, a church of Christ. It is denomination is man-made, but the church is the spiritual body of Christ. All over the world, the church is universal. It is one. It is apostolic. So, I haven't said that. Uh, if you have this understanding, you would know that the church of Christ is not just a, a group of organized believers who worship in a, in a church building. That is not the church I am talking about. The biblical church is a spiritual body of Christ. It's, uh, it's, it's not a bad uh, congregation gathering together alone. Jesus Christ said in in Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 that wherever two or three are gathered together in my name I will be there in their midst. So the church wherever believers are gathered is a part of the church. It doesn't form the whole church, the whole body of Christ, but they are just part of the body of Christ uh, in that particular place. So uh, how do you worship? 
when you don't have a genuine church because a lot of churches today are actually leading people to hell somebody emailed me uh, yesterday and the person asked me about his denomination and it is a denomination that i know he asked me i don't i can't even i don't even know his country so he told me uh, this is the church i worship should I continue to worship in this church or what should I do? So I replied to him. I told him, well, uh, I know this church. Their primary goal is not heaven. So if you want to make heaven, you can make heaven in this church, but it is going to be very difficult. But it is not impossible. You can make heaven in this church, but it is difficult, though not impossible. That is what I told him. So, there are lots of churches today who are actually um, not doing the right thing like the Laodicean church that are lukewarm and Jesus Christ does not want his people to belong to churches like this because they have formed bonds of uh, a group of rebels, rebels against the Lord. I remember a revelation I had recently and Jesus was saying, I was hearing the voice of the Lord saying to me in this vision that when he looks down, he sees rebels. He sees that some of this congregation, people gather together to worship him. Some congregations, when he looks down, he sees rebels. So, do we need to become a part of rebels like this when we know that these people are running on, bibli on biblical uh, churches, congregation uh, uh, churches? You know, we don't need to join them. So what do we do? The church is one spiritual body of Christ. Uh, you can read those passages. You can read Romans chapter 12, 4 and 5, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 27 now what do you do as a believer if you find yourself in this kind of situation where there are no genuine churches number one you have to repent of your sins and be baptized into the body of christ um you can baptize yourself that's the truth you have to get a believer somebody who has been baptized uh, i did a video some time ago that can i baptize myself what is baptism can i baptize myself so uh, you can watch that video to get details. It's on Ego I Opener. It's even on my personal channel, Osana E. E. David. Then you have to be baptized, uh, Acts up chapter 2, verse 38. Then you have to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. What I mean by continuing steadfastly, uh, after your repentance, you have to continue in this new life. That means living a Christ-like life. As of Apostles chapter 2 verse 42. Then also, uh, you have to make converts. You have to preach. If you have your family, fine. Then you have somewhere to start from. Then, uh, if there is no pastor there, no, it's just you, probably your family, you can baptize. If you are baptized, Christian, I'm not talking about denominational thing, I'm talking about places where there is no church or where there is no genuine church. You don't need to sit at home because a lot of people, I, I've seen a lot of comments, a lot of believers reach me from all over the world and they say, um, we decided to stay at home. If you are living in places like Saudi Arabia where uh, Christianity is a criminal offense, you can worship at home uh, where there are no churches at all but what i'm saying is that there are some people who don't like to go to church for some flimsy excuses that um, uh, there are no good churches around meanwhile they have not searched all the churches around what i'm saying now is that before you do what i am telling you now you have to search the whole of that environment and find good churches around. If you can't find anyone at all or no one is existing, that is when you do what I, you have to do what I am saying right now. Then you have to baptize your converts into the body of Christ. Now, let me tell you something. Um, you, 
are not yet a member of the body of Christ until you get baptized. Because baptism is admitting, it's a means, it's a ceremonial means of admitting people into the body of Christ. Your sins are washed away, ceremonial activity, your sins are washed away, you are baptized into the body of Christ, you have been admitted into the body of Christ. That is baptism, baptized in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, you have to be baptized into the body of Christ. And when you are baptized first, you can then baptize other converts that you make. Then you have to start a fellowship in your house. Yes, it is very, very important. There are examples of um, churches, fellowships like that, that actually exist in people's houses in the Bible. Uh, read the Bible, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19, uh, Colossians chapter 4, verse 15, and then I saw Philemon, Philemon chapter 1, verse 2. You would see uh, things like with the church that is in their house and the church which is in his house and to the church in thy house. So a church can actually exist uh, in a form of fellowship in a house. So you can start up something probably with your family or with your um, converts that you have made. Uh, Jesus said, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I will be in their midst. I will be there. So it, it must not be a very well organized, um, uh, well registered uh, denomination at church before Jesus Christ can be in your midst. No. Then lastly, you have to, when you come together, you have to fellowship. And your fellowship is with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is not an isolated thing. You are fellowshipping with God and with the brethren, with the saints all over the world too. So you don't need to make the, the fellowship or the church, the local church, you have set up to stand in isolation. But you have the internet, you can also fellowship with well, those who preach the truth, after testing their truth, their doctrine, you can also fellowship with them also. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 says that we must, not we must not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. So you have to fellowship with other believers, either online, on phone. You make sure that the church is not running itself in isolation. Uh, if you do this, take an offering, help yourselves, help the members, buy what you need to buy, uh, give, buy things and give to the poor on the street. So the offering is not to enrich anybody. You must not also load it over your position, over the converse you make, because this is actually a real problem in the church and in the body of Christ all over the world. The issue of greed, money, uh, greed for money by men of God has become a problem. And you are uh, following the truth. That is why you decide to set up a local uh, congregation in your house, a fellowship in your house, and you don't need to do the same thing that made you to stand out, to stand for the truth that you believe is the will of God. In case you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Go to my website, egoeyeopener.com and read for yourself. Get details of these things that um, I have just said. The title of the post is Serving God Where There Is No Genuine Church. Where There Is No Church or No Genuine Church. Thank you. God bless you. Subscribe to my YouTube channels, Hosanna E.E. E. David and also Ego Ayopuna. Visit my website, egoayopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Also, remember that Jesus Christ is near. Stay out of the world 
though we can't run out of the world but stay out of the worldly things that offend Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the friend of this world is an enemy of God. So you don't want to be an enemy, an enemy of God because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. So it multitude does not matter. What matters is doing the right thing. Being in fellowship with Jesus Christ is what matters because your pastor is not going to judge you. It's not going. The judgment is not going to be on plurality. It's going to be on obedience. Who does what the Father asks us to do? Jesus Christ is going to judge the world. So fight for your salvation. Fight for your crown. Thank you. Once again, I'm Hosanna David. God bless you. Bye-bye. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.